Hey Christian, this is Coach Smart from ABC Baseball Camps. How you doing today, buddy? I'm here to do your video hitting evaluation. So if you're ready, kind of excuse the video they sent me. Uh, not too good a video here, but we'll do best we can. Okay, so let's talk about your setup. Okay, you do a pretty good job with your feet. Okay, nice wide base. I like that. Okay, you're in a loaded position, which is good. You got you know, looks like about 70% of your weight on your back side and 30 on your front side. So that's really good setup. I like that. Your hands are in pretty good position. Um, let's see what happens here when we go forward. Okay, so. Okay, so let's look at that front foot. Okay, so uh, nice job with your front half, your lower half. You're driving your knee into a closed, firm front side. Let's get you to, uh, as far as your barrel route goes, that's not too bad. You're out front, obviously. Um, but, Christian, one thing I want you to think about, buddy, is that the position your chest is in right now, okay? Right now, your belt buckle is facing out this way, towards second base. Okay? Your chest is also facing towards second, the second baseman, excuse me. Not second base, second baseman. And where he would be playing with nobody on and nobody out. You know, right in the middle between first and second. Okay? This position right here, buddy, is where we want you to be at contact. Okay, if, if Christian, we can get you to this position, then you can counteract pitchers who want to throw the ball on the, on the outside half, the outside corner. You have the ability then to actually be able to drive a baseball uh, pitched in that location, which is just a huge, huge thing. Okay, so we get you to that spot right there and that's that's where we want you to be but instead you get to there and now your chest is facing a pitcher or maybe even a shortstop Christian I want you and your parents or whoever's helping you with your hitting I want you guys to look at the big picture okay I've been coaching for a long time and the parents get a little bit too excited about how good their hit kids are hitting right now. Okay, A lot of guys hit really good when they're young and then they get older the game speeds up and they, they, they fall behind a little bit. One way to counteract that Christian to make sure it doesn't happen to you is to make sure that you understand what you're supposed to be trying to do. Okay understand what you're trying to do here we are trying to stay square to home plate in this position right here for as long as we can throughout our swing okay both feet pointing towards home plate straight in your feet parallel okay and then from here we take our stride okay you already took your stride sorry you already took your stride Okay, and we try to use drive, make energy with our lower half by driving our knee to the inside of our front foot. Watch. So your knee's dropping down. That's a really good look there. Okay, right there. Okay, now this would also be a good position for contact right there. Be an unbelievable position for contact. Look at this. Christian, that's perfect. Okay, your front leg, perfect. I couldn't ask for it to be any better. I mean, it's perfect. Your front foot's closed, it's beautiful. Okay, this arm, you got your L here, which is good. And this arm's straight. 
Okay, those are all really good positions if you were at contact right now. Okay, but you're not because you're rotating off the baseball. You're trying to create energy with your arms, your shoulders, instead of using your lower half to create the energy and then using your hands to create some speed. Okay, when you, when you use your big muscles, your shoulders and stuff, Christian, it actually slows your hands down. Okay, your quick t twitch muscles are in your hands. They're not in your shoulders. Okay, so we got to make sure we understand the what we're trying to do. This is fantastic. That knee looks like it's really pushing hard. You're on the ball of your back foot. I mean, that's a classic look. Other than you, you're you know you're still a ways away from contact there. So, uh, you know what it's supposed to look like. Now, how do we, how do, we do it? Um, there's lots of ways to, to, you know, lots of drills, split drill and dead legs drill. Any drill that's going to isolate your hands so you get a better idea of how to use them. Okay, what I mean by isolate your hands is you take your regular swings in a elongated stance in other words, you widen your base out really far, your feet stay on the ground, and you hit soft toss or off the tee just using your hands. Just using your hands. And not using your legs, your feet stay on the ground, not using your hips, your hips don't rotate, and not using your shoulders, and they don't rotate either. Just your hands. And no, you won't be able to hit the ball as hard as you normally do. But the point of the drill, Christian, is to get you used to using your hands. When I go scout, I'm looking for guys, I'm looking for high school and college guys that can create speed with their hands without rotating their upper body. I'll say it again. They create speed with their hands without rotating their upper body. Then we look for guys that can create power by using their legs, by using their lower half and their core. Okay, so now you know what to do. Now it's up to Christian to find out if he get how bad does Christian want to be good? How bad does Christian want to be good? Because in the end, Christian, that's what's going to come down to. How bad do you want to be good? Okay, you have some really good principles down way ahead of other kids of your age group. Way ahead. That position right there, buddy puts you at the top of the class okay now if we can get you to start using your hands more and less hips and less shoulders then we got ourselves a hitter okay so you've done a good job whoever's helping you has done a good job with everything from your lower half only we gotta do is try to get you a little more square at contact a little more in this position of contact rather than this position of contact Okay? Okay, buddy. Thanks for coming to ABC Baseball Camps for you and your mom and dad and everybody. I uh, hope to see you at the next one, and have a great day.